Hello everybody and thank you for your interest in Leo project and especially in one of the main results of, of this project like is the Leo European model that is addressed to policymakers of every level from school and hospitals director to regional and national all over Europe and over. Uh, this uh, deliverable or this result is a uh, it includes uh, a wide overview on the complex and evolving world of the HHE, suggestions on how to disseminate the practices, and finally, uh, it is also oriented to help to integrate in their policies and decisions the use of ICT to support the HHE. First of all, uh, let me present myself. My name is Isaac Matamoros and I'm the coordinator both of the Spanish and Catalan Leo communities. I am project manager and director of public tenders in Knowledge Innovation Market, KIM. KIM is a private institution aimed to transfer knowledge and technologies to the market. Uh, we are an international company based in Barcelona and our role in the Leo project beyond the coordination of, of the these two communities is also to ensure the sustainability and exploitation of the project after its end. We are going to start with a key overview uh, about the European dimension. The first issue that we must take in consideration when we refer to home and hospital education is that in despite of the existence of the bidding agreement for all the member states through the ratification of the Treaty of Lisbon which includes the rights of all children to education based on the European Union Charter of Fundamental Rights. However, an explicit uh, right to education for children and young people with medical needs is not considered in this text. In practice, ratification has led to adaptations in the national systems, laws and regulations that provide more or less comprehensive uh, measures for different ed educational settings during illness and medical treatment than can take place in the hospital, at home and other places. The field analysis carried out by the LEO of HHE member states of the Union uh, demonstrate that the difference between countries with regard to legislation, regulation, organization, curriculum and governing bodies. There are different link to the particular, particular uh, political, geographical, social, economic, cultural and also religion uh, backgrounds in the various countries and they result in nation, uh, national mentalities. Uh, if you are interested in this uh, comparison, you, you can find uh, information about the state of the art of the project partners country on the HHA in the, in the LEO toolkit, in the LEO website. Okay, uh, now we are going to speak about the three most common educational settings for home and hospital education. The first one is uh, hospital school. This is a dedicated school at primary and secondary grade levels in a hospital which the child with medical needs attends uh, during periods of hospitalization or rehabilitation. Most of these hospital schools are uh, accredited and fund and consequently operate within the organizational and curriculum regulations that are set by the law of the country. In these hospital schools the children are taught the same or similar curriculum as the mainstream school of the child. The second common educational setting for home and hospital education is uh, home education. This is usually uh, the individual teaching of, pupil, of pupils and students with a medical condition at home or at a venue other than an hospital, which enables uh, them to carry on with their study. Most home uh, education and home institutions will follow the same curriculum as the child's mainstream school, but uh, sometimes uh, the format is restricted to specially developed distance education with materials that enable uh, a synchronous teaching and learning at home. And finally, we, we have also the, the mainstream school. Uh, when, 
when we speak uh, about the mainstream school, we are referring to the school with a child with a medical condition normally attends when it's not ill. Almost all these schools are accredited and funded by an education authority at the local, regional or national level, depends on the country. And in the past, the majority of these mainstream schools almost only cater uh, for normal students directing students with disabilities and children with a medical condition either toward special education schools or to ad hoc solutions. Uh, novel solutions has been created by using information and communication technologies to enable children with a medical condition to attend uh, to, the, to the class in real time in the mainstream school through an internet connection between the classroom and the hospital, home or another location of residence. The Leo field analysis that you can find also in, in, in the Leo toolkit shows that not every setting is present in every European country and large difference exists in the legislation that organizes and regulates hospital education in the various countries. Uh, Leo Partners has identified uh, five factors uh, that determine the quality of this education. The first one is the purpose. Uh, HHA should always serve a, a double uh, purpose, uh, to combat the school retardation as well as maintain the social bonds of Hill children with their mainstream school teachers and classmates. The second one is uh, the objectives of, or the focus. Uh, the focus of education should be on learning rather than on teaching. Until the middle of the last century, the quality of student learning was considered to be a function of the quality of teaching. Uh, in other words, it was the teacher who made their purpose learn. More recently, uh, learning psychology researchers and instructional designers have concluded that the learner is central in the learning process. The teacher uh, these things can offer support to facilitate learning, but does not manage nor direct it. Today, this vision of education is generally accepted and was confirmed in the identification of the six key educational factors uh, identified during the, the LEO project. The third factor is uh, the need of change. As people become more aware of the psychosocial and economic value of integrating people with disabilities into mainstream society, it was considered necessary to implement a similar integration in education. Hence, there was a shift of conventional mainstream schools which became inclusive schools. This move started in the 80s of the last century, but has taken off over the last couple of decades in, uh, in century 21, which has seen more countries organize their educational systems toward inclusive schools or inclusive education. The next uh, factor, the fourth factor, is the IT solutions. The rate of development and use of uh, information and communication technologies has added to the tools that make teaching and learning more efficient and effective, both at the level of individual instruction and for collaborative learning. And finally, the fifth uh, factor is the collaboration. Uh, an essential factor for the success of education of children with medical needs is, is this collaboration between all those involved, parents, medical staff, teaching staff, school uh, counselors and consultants, voluntary tutors, mentors, friends, and most importantly, the children themselves. Also important are the, the policy makers at various levels that must create and support the conditions for this collaboration to take place. What are the LEO recommendations? We have divided recommendations uh, three scopes. The first one is uh, recommendations to the medical sector. Uh, the first recommendation for 
for them is uh, they should inform parents, teachers, and and depending on on the age of maturity, uh, uh, the child youngster about the positive effects that continuing their education and maintaining uh, contact with their peers have on helping them overcome their medical conditions. Knowing these positive effects, it is recommended that medical staff should motivate the children and youngsters in treatment to invest in their education and social contacts as soon as their medical condition allows them to do so. The second recommendation in this issue is that, uh, meanwhile, uh, it is the responsibility of the medical staff to inform the pupils uh, that their medical condition and treatment might affect the effort levels and comprehension and may lead to change in personality, personality and mood. And finally, there are a third recommendation for the medical sector. Uh, that is that the medical staff uh, must be informed about these potential effects during their initial training and for continuous professional development sessions. Uh, the second group of recommendation is oriented to the educational sector itself. Uh, here we have uh, the big part of the recommendations. The first one is that uh, through their treatment, all children with a medical condition, uh, whether they are at home, in hospital or elsewhere, should remain enrolled in their mainstream school. This is already the case in a number of Leo partner countries, uh, especially those with an inclusive school policy, where responsibility for the child's education remains with the mainstream school, regardless of where the education is continued to, during the illness and treatment. This support and promotes continuous uh, contact with the teachers and peers in their mainstream school, continuity of education, and a smoother return to school after illness. The second recommendation is that uh, not only the training of teachers of special education, but all initial, initial and in-service teacher training should cover the issues raised by teaching children with medical needs and learn how to manage them effectively. Other recommendation is like a, is such a educational training should build on the universal basic teacher training, which is recommended to include flexibility in the definition of objectives and educational plans, the ability to deal with different professionals and develop solid relationships along with them, emotional and pedagogical technological skills. Rather than training highly specialized teachers for specific medical and psychological needs or disability, this universal uh, basic training guarantees a theoretical and practical background that enables uh, teachers to adapt their professional practice to gain knowledge and use of novel education technology tools and to integrate different uh, situations within mainstream education regardless of whether it takes place in mainstream school, hospital schools, home or elsewhere. A fourth uh, recommendation for the educational sector uh, is uh, that the special education should still be accepted, but uh, this is restricted to very specific situations where the physical, mental or psychological characteristics of the learner are not uh, compatible with uh, inclusive mainstream education. Further research uh, should identify these this exceptions. It is also recommended that the, the training actions of teachers should engage a large group of staff and have a collaborative approach. Uh, this promotes healthy discussions, stimulates field work experience with innovative practice and tools, and exchange within uh, teachers with experience in education of children with medical needs, eventually also those with experience in special education and novel colleagues. It may be useful uh, to, to have an international audience involved in the process, uh, webinars, uh, seminar online like, like this one uh, via internet are usually are useful sorry, for this purpose. Let me... Uh, one moment. 
Okay, sorry. Uh, and when they are well prepared by, by skilled presenters. On a continuous trans-European collaboration basis, the, uh, we think that the Erasmus Plus program support e-twin communities serves uh, as an example. Uh, the other other recommendation, for example, um, is that the education provided for children with uh, medical needs should not aim at more strict objectives or a reduced version of the normal uh, school curriculum. Furthermore, their school activities and subjects must develop their uh, K life competencies and recommend by the European Commission. The Leo uh, K educational factors uh, are in line with, with these uh, life competences. Um, also, psychological preparation of the ill child's classmates is essential. Uh, it is recommend that the classmates uh, be provided with information about the child's disease its physical and psychological effects on performance, uh, concentration and behavior, as well as any potential change in the child's appearance. Good practice could be, uh, in this sense, uh, to give their classmates a small assignment to help the whole child both in and outside of the classroom. This will uh, stimulate the class towards adopting a caring attitude, develop social skills and strengthen the social bonds between class and the whole child. But, however, in doing so, the teacher must keep the, the child with a medical condition at the center of the project, as always ask for, 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 for his or for her consent and opinion about any such assignments. Um, it's also recommend uh, the use of ICT. Uh, to support learners with medical needs. Uh, ICT facilitates the acquisition and metacognitive process, thinking about uh, thinking, knowing about knowing, and regulation monitoring of thinking process. ICT are also enable efficient maintenance uh, of the contact between the whole child, their peers, and their teachers. And a final recommendation uh, for the educational sector is that uh, as a consequence of its continuous development, there is a continuous uh, need for research into the educational potential of ICT, as well as uh, support for teachers and learners in its effective use. This should not only encompass didactic models and teaching learning content and tools, but also network infrastructures, administration, equipment, and technical assistance. An example of, of, of such global approach is, is Bandit, a LEO consortium member. And uh, the final set of recommendation is focus uh, on policy makers. The first one uh, is that uh, finding uh, from the, the Leo focus group discussion and other activities show that management aspects and problems with education sitting along with other external factors that influence the parties involved in the HH. The, uh, are a priority. Policy makers in this sense um, should create uh, opportunities to address these areas, not only at the national level but also at the European level. The second one recommendation is for the national agencies of the Erasmus Plus program. Uh, must actively inform teachers of the possibilities for trans-European cooperation and and funding of projects that promote the HHE by developing and disseminating initiative practice, like uh, LEO. And the final recommendation for, for policy makers is that all such learners uh, with a medical condition uh, require equation that has certain similarity with uh, those of a more general category of disadvantaged learners. It's, you know, we, we recommend that the European pro, uh, programs, learners with uh, medical needs, are explicitly uh, indicated as a, a specific target group. This is also true for the European Parliament, 
whose members should be conscious of the distinct nature of the educational needs of those with a medical condition compared to those who are disabled. And an example of the is that the European Parliament resolution of the 23rd of June of uh, 2016 on the follow-up of the strategic framework for European uh, cooperation in education and training. Uh, okay, related uh, to other Leo Findel's tools of resort, uh, inform you that uh, all produced by the Leo project during its three years of activities can be found at the Leo website. The, if you don't know at this moment, I remember you, uh, it's www.leoproject.eu and we are special uh, we especially recommend the following two items which is which in tandem with this document summarize uh, all the project findings the first one is the HHA toolkit where you can find uh, many useful in introduction cards to support improve and innovate your every everyday teaching in the hospital or for home to teach, uh, education uh, also, important results of the activities undertaken through the LEO project, such as uh, the focus group, which were held with medics and, and hospital teachers, the key educational factors and the quality of a student experience scale, and also a glossary and useful websites. And uh, finally, the HHE international information that includes include uh, the state of the of the HHA in terms of regulation, laws, organization, initiative and policies within the LEO project partnership countries that uh, I remember you that uh, are Germany, North Wind, Westphalia and Bavaria regions, the UK, Italy, Belgium, uh, especially Flanders and Spain, uh, focus on Catalonia region plus a focus on, on Egypt and additional information from Greece and Poland. And the second uh, tool that uh, uh, I want to remark is uh, the HAT Guide uh, to International Innovative Practice. Uh, it's an e-book that uh, can help HAT teachers to match the potential of the tools, resource and practice available in the LEO toolkit with K theories and relate good practices. It's a supporting document for uh, HHE teachers to help them to identify the best activities and aspects of teaching in a HHE environment. Uh, this type of this, uh, if you are interested in, to participate in or know more about the LEO project and its activities, you can access to our uh, website. And in case that you have not done yet, uh, you can join the, the LEO network as individual, supporting institution or collaborating institution. Thank you very much and uh, welcome.